now watching Dynasty Total Access with your host, expert in H-Speed 30, only on the DML Network. Welcome in to the DML Network and another episode of Total Access. It's your boy, expert, and you know I got the homie H-Speed with me. What's up, man? What's good? Let's go back. Total Access. No doubt. Week two of the Dynasty. Um, so this is our first episode of Total Access for the new season. So we got to give a big shout out to the Miami Dolphins and the Dallas Cowboys for making the Super Bowl. And a, another shout out to Hot Tub and those Cowboys hanging another banner. His third in a row, HP. Tell me you're going to do something to stop that. All good things come to an end, expert. And <laughs> like I said, I looked at this man's salary cap. Man, he can't sign a uh, <laughs> he can't sign a practice squad player <laughs> right now. So <laughs> that's gonna be one of the downfalls, man. Hey, the dude's a great um, great player. No, don't get me wrong, but um, and, and good at developing people. But he's gonna have to his team's gonna come back down to earth a little bit, and that's gonna definitely help. You know what I mean? He don't have Brian yeah. Jones back there with that ninety five zone coverage. He doesn't have yeah. uh, Welsh. Going over the top of people. Welsh got paid like two hundred million, but then they rescinded the the deal. But he still got a, a boatload of money from the Detroit Lions. So um, yeah. the team the team is getting dismantled a little bit, and we'll see how he responds. And my team is building up. We got a lot of young guys, and um, we got the the new posse with the boy Frank Herman. We ready to roll. Yeah, it was a, definitely a good draft for the Washington Redskins. It was a good draft all around. Except for the Cleveland Browns, who got the sand, quicksand, turtle, whatever you want to call it. The Sandman. He's called the Sandman <laughs> Reeves. The Sandman. The Sandman Reeves. But that's okay. Let's get into these week two matchups. First up, it's Andy Force and those 49ers going to Pittsburgh to play the OG Chris Murray and the Steelers. The Steelers coming off a win in week one. 49ers coming off a close loss to a division mate in the Rams and the homie Taz. This is going to be a good game. We're going to get a coin flip right off the bat in week two. Both of these guys are very good users. You got Pittsburgh that just has two great wide receivers that his new quarterback gets to throw up to. And you got Andy Force, who's just solid all around on both sides of the football. This is going to come down to can the Steelers find McKinnon deep several times over that 49ers defense and I think he does in this game at home Steelers start out 2-0 and oh. and he also has the guy that he drafted Stanley Rob, uh, Robertson I believe um, and so he it gives him some balance you know what I'm saying he don't just have to force balls to McKinnon when you got a, a guy on the other side uh, that that's of, of that caliber so um Andy lost the game, man, but it, it was a good game, and uh, we'll see what what happens. You know what I mean? I, I think that I, I think that the 49ers will get this one done, um, and he has to watch out for Bruntley. Bruntley is a disruptive. Chris Murray is the best right now at using the defensive line, and that guy Bruntley is a monster. So if he can uh, avoid, you know, too many sacks or bad sacks. I think uh, the 49ers will win the game. All right, next up, it's the commission, Dion and those Vikings going into Green Bay to play two times. John John himself and the Green Bay Packers. Both of these guys started out 0-1 this year. Vikings taking a loss to the Bears in the division and the Packers losing to C-Rob and the Panthers. The Vikings, I believe, have some things starting to come together. I know we keep saying that year in and year out, HB, but I really think he's got a couple pieces on that defense. Uh, you better not test that secondary. Um, he's built that secondary up. And then it's all about can Dion get the run game going, which goes the same thing for John John. John John, if he gets the run game going, it opens everything up for him. But I'm just not impressed with John John Steele. He, his first year in Dynasty, his first season in Dynasty, played real well, made the playoffs, and since then he's just been kind of a crapshoot. I'm going with the commission this one. Vikings go to Green Bay and get a win. Man, it seemed like uh, between Dion and them Vikings and John John uh, and, and those uh, Packers, they, they're basically playing for second place um, in that NFC North. And I think the Packers have gotten that second place more often 
than the Vikings. Even though the Vikings have yeah. put together some good draft, good drafts, I think John John has uh, the pieces to. Um, he he has some good drafts this year. You know, normally he don't even make drafts. So, but right. he's had good drafts this year, and uh, I like what he's done. So I'm a, I'm a pick I'm a pick the Packers to win this game. It's gonna be a good game, man. But uh, yeah. I think the Packers end up winning this game. Next up, it's Matty Ice and those New Orleans Saints going to go up against HBO and the Detroit Lions and the before mentioned Welch coming over from the Cowboys, who I believe got paid a hundred and forty million dollars to be a blocking wide receiver in Detroit. This is an easy pick for me. Saints run away with this one. Absolutely, man. Uh, Matty Ice is definitely, <laughs> he's going to ring up the numbers. The boy Hagerman about to have, this one of them stat games. This one of them games you get excited yeah. about on your, on your schedule where you can be able to put together some a big XP. And, uh, you know, it's going to put up a big number, man. This is going to be an offensive uh, explosion by the Saints. He had a uh, he got shut down basically in week one versus a uh, hot tub in the in the Cowboys only put up six points, but uh, yeah. look for him to put up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say, Maddie, I'm gonna say at least forty points. So that that's what that's what we're gonna see uh, in this game. No doubt, easy win for the Saints. Next up, it's the defending AFC South champion Jaguars going to Tennessee to play JB and the Titans. Several seasons ago, I would say this is an easy game. Jaguars with an easy win. But JB has put some pieces together. He he was in a very, very tough game versus the co-commish Tone Dogs in week one. Didn't come out with that win. And he's going to need to start one and one because he has a tough road. He's got the Jags this week, Texans next week, Dolphins week four. Very tough schedule to start. But I just don't think he has enough to stop this Jaguar offense. King Vitamin very quietly wins ball games. Jaguars go to Tennessee, get a win. Absolutely, man. Um, shout out to JB, man. He's built a solid, solid team in Tennessee. And, you know, I had the Titans last cycle, so it's always good to see um, that Tennessee team looking good, man. He has the pieces, man. He got a, uh, he got the corners. He got the boy Harvey George. Um he got a quarterback. I mean, he got the yep. pieces to make some moves, but I don't think he win this one. I think he start out 0-2, and hopefully he doesn't let that 0-2 start derail the season. And I, I, I would say that um, I want him to stay focused for the rest of this year. Don't let that 0-2 start uh, deter you. No doubt. Next up, it's the big homie and the Seattle Seahawks. Going to New York to play King Flair and the Giants. I, I would say that this is my upset pick of the week, but I don't know if it's really upset. I'm picking the Giants to beat the Seahawks. This is, was a coin flip for me. It landed on heads. Giants had heads. Giants with the win this week, H-Speed. I said it. Flair gets a win. Wow, man. Hey, he um, he had a two-game winning streak to end the year he, uh, uh, last year. Um, he beat the Redskins, man. Hey, he had a great game yeah, against the Redskins, did. and um, he came up with it with a, with a win. Um, but I think I think the Seahawks will win this game. I think he has enough. He got a new quarterback, a new toy. Um, I think he have enough to to beat uh, the Giants in this game. All right, next up, it's the new user and those Buccaneers going to Chicago to play the other other KP. And those Chicago Bears. Now, this is the first real test, I would say, for the Bucks, because he's going to find out what he's made up when he goes up against a top user in the dynasty. The other other KP is no joke. Started one and zero. Wants to win that NFC North again. I don't believe he's relinquished that title yet. And the Bears get an easy win. Bears beat the Bucks this week. Man, and for the Bears, man, it's all about the playoffs and 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 actually moving forward within the playoffs. Um, these are the type of games that the Bears win pretty easily. These are the games that he uh, ends up winning easily, and, and this and I think that's what's going to happen in this game. He's he's going to um, the new Tampa Bay Bucks user. He don't know what he's getting into right now. 
Um, he got a win last week. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> but you're gonna you're gonna get the Chicago Bears and the and the boy Simpson coming through there, and they're gonna be running that football. So you better bring your big boy pads. Um, but I got yeah. the Bears winning this game easy. Yeah, he beat the Colts last week. We'll, we'll count that as half a win. Uh, next up, it's underrated in the Cardinals. But he's got to go to Dallas and play those hot, tough Cowboys. I like underrated. Underrated, underrated is my homie from last season. Uh, a good user, but he just doesn't have enough to beat this souped-up team right now. Our Cowboys with the win. Yeah, man. Um, this, this, this might get ugly. <laughs> These are the games that <laughs> these are the XP games that uh, Hot Tub likes to get, and uh, <laughs> this can get ugly early. But man, hey, I, I'm gonna challenge Underrated to to just stay within your game, man. Play your game, stay within your game, keep it close, keep it an ugly, dirty game, and maybe you come out with a victory. But I don't think so. I'm picking uh, my rivals in, uh, with the Cowboys. Yeah. Next up, it's the homie T Pain and the Colts. Coming to Houston to play Expert and the Texans. Expert gets a win week one versus the Falcons. And the new linebacker Peterson has his first interception of the season. And, of course, Comer picked up right where he left off. An interception, fumble return, both touchdowns. And I told the Colts on Twitter, he's next. Texans start 2-0. and Oh, man. Um... Yeah, they didn't get a win in week one versus uh, the Bucks. Um, I don't anticipate them getting a the win in week two versus the Texas, man. Hey, Carl, man, get it together, though. Um, keep your head up. Keep your head in, into, this, into the season. Um, don't let one loss or two losses in a row derail your season. I think um, his new quarterback is, is going to get his feet wet, but he's going to Throw a couple picks to that to that kid Komar. Uh, that linebacker is, is amazing, man. Yeah, he is. And, and he didn't play the rookie quarterback in week one. He played Andrew Luck. I thought that was the whole reason of drafting the quarterback. Wow. But it's not my team. He played Andrew Luck the whole game. Next up, it's the Baltimore Ravens playing Taz and the Rams. And Taz in first place in the division. And he gets family in week two. But I like this Rams team. He drafted him a nice defensive tackle that is wrecking havoc right now. Rams get the win over the Ravens and start 2-0 and HP. Wow. Um, I don't know. I, I think um, I think this is going to be a good game, but I, I, I would have to agree with you right there. I don't think um, I don't think that he's going to have enough to actually get to get that victory. Yeah, he, he. I don't think he has enough. Rams is playing well. Next up, it's the co-commish battle. H speed. It's Tone Dog and the Broncos going to oh play, my. play SJ and the Patriots. Who comes out on top? The Broncos and Patriots have two different styles. In New England likes to press the ball up the field. Broncos like to dink and dunk you up the field. West Coast offense. But I like the Patriots in this one at home. This is going to be a good game. Always a battle between these two guys. Patriots sneak it out with a field goal at the NH speed. Okay, SJ and, and, and Tone Dog. Man, this is going to be a good game. Um, but having said that, man, I think the Patriots have a little bit too much, um, too much offense for the, the Broncos in the end. Um, and you know he got the boy Rivers going, so this, this is going to definitely be uh, interesting to see. But I think the Patriots win this game. Um, Tone Dog, um, you know, he'll get it together. He'll be competitive in that, in that NFC West. It's, it's a wide open division. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. Next up, it's Darkness and the Raiders going up against tight work in the Dolphins. And this was actually a close, close game in the playoffs. They should be mm-hmm. going down to the wire. And you called it. You said it was going to be a close game. But I think tight work comes out on top once again, and it won't be as close. But we'll see what Darkness and those Raiders have. Darkness is kind of a quiet guy, just plays his game, doesn't really ruffle too many feathers. But he plays solid football, but I think the Dolphins have too much. Dolphins with the win. 
Absolutely. And that, that was the, the, the game in, in the playoffs in which I thought it was going to be a, uh, you know, a pretty close game. And it, and it actually did turn out to be that. Um, and so um, this time around, though, it's early in the season. It's a regular season game. I think that um, tight work plays well in the regular season. He does what he has to do in the regular season. And I think he's a little bit better than Darkness at this point. And I think uh, I think the Dolphins come out with this victory, man. They, 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 uh, they're going to be hungry to get back to the Super Bowl. Next up is LP and those Falcons going to C-Rob and the Panthers. And this is the consolation game. This is who takes second place in that division as that division belongs to Matty Ice and the Saints. Who is going to pick second place? LP coming off a loss, C-Rob coming off a win, but this game will be very, very close. And I'm actually going to pick the Falcons to go into Carolina and beat the Panthers. Man, just like... um... You know, certain divisions, man. You, it's it's just been playing out like that. Um, and C. Rob has been the, the second best team in that division throughout this cycle. Um, he's gotten hot at times, and I think um, I don't think LP ready to take that step just yet. I mean, he he had a bad off season, losing those and going over the cap penalty and. Losing those two st- He lost two really, really, really good players You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did uh, The tackle and that defense And Brennan Oh my goodness He lost two guys Right there And I think C-Rob is just the better Better player right now And he'll continue to be that But we'll see what the Falcons can do Prove me wrong, uh, LP No doubt Next up It's the user that's not named Mr. 99 himself And those Jets Going into Buffalo to play Hamilton and the Bills, not wasting a lot of time on here. The Madden hates Buffalo. They hated them in Madden 17. They hate them in Madden 18, and they continue to hate them this year. Jets with the win. Sweets with a Z, man. It's, it makes a big ass difference. <laughs> 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 that makes it not um not gay. You know what I mean? That's what he said in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Um, man, the Jets. This this not even this not even a game. You know what I mean? To be yeah. honest, which is it's always between the Jets and and the and the Dolphins. Um, this is like a tune up game for for the Jets. Um, man, Hamilton got a lot of talent though. I, I keep saying yeah. that. I keep saying yeah. it because that team is loaded to me. I think, but I thought like, he could have got more loaded by getting the receiver Herman. But having uh-huh. said that, this team is still is still good. Um, but he's just not. This man is not for him. <laughs> Maybe try try next uh, nineteen, buddy. Yeah, easy win for the Jets. Next up, it is the monster game of the week. It's KP, the original, and those Eagles going into Washington to play HP and the new fun bunch there with the Redskins, the new posse 2.0. And this is a big matchup early in the season for these two guys. Always battling out, trying to go catch Hot Tub for that division title. And what's crazy is both of these users always seem to find themselves either in the playoffs or scratching right there on the outside trying to get in the last couple weeks. So all of these games matter even in week two to these guys. I really like the Philadelphia Eagles and what he's done with that team. But I can't believe we let the Redskins pick back-to-back in the first round, top 10. He gets him a monster at linebacker. He gets a monster at wide receiver and already had two monsters at wide receiver. We just let this team get stacked. Man, I'm picking the Redskins in a close one over the Eagles. Man, we we have battles with with, uh, with the Eagles, and he got him a, a, a stud cornerback. I got a stud uh, receiving Herman, and they're going to get their first taste of the NFC East early. Um, the boy Austin had an interception, almost t- took it back for a touchdown. His speed is very noticeable. We're very happy with our, with our picks. But for real, we, we just have to focus on winning games right now to get you the playoffs because that's going to that's gonna determine a lot for us, you know, as far as the legacy-wise. We <laughs> For both of us, both of us looking to get in the playoffs and, and get hot tub out of it. So that's 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 the focus right there. 
Um, having yeah. said that, I'm not going to lose this game early on. Um, it'll be a good game, but we'll we'll find a way to pull it out. Next up is Addy Five, my brother in those Cincinnati Bengals, going up against Houdini and Sandman and those Cleveland Browns. And this is this is another division that really has not been competitive. It's been Addy's Fives since we started, and it's going to continue this year. Bengals with the win over the Browns. Absolutely. Um, Houdini, I'm challenging you, man. Um, basically, Chris Murray came over in, I think, season two in that division, and he's basically been in the second slot, you know, the whole way. And the, the Cleveland Browns have basically been getting – uh, eight wins, nine wins, the whole cycle. If you want to uh, progress to the playoffs, get a victory right here. Um, but what, but what I want you to do, I want you to lead the Sandman at home. <laughs> lead the Sandman at home. Don't dress. Yeah, he doesn't need to dress. <laughs> Don't dress the Sandman. Just let let him, hey, let him stay at home and. Uh, <laughs> Rely on your other receivers that you already have. I know you got that fast ass. He got that fast ass Tyreek Hill. Hey, yeah. see if you could get like two ticks of speed off of Tyreek Hill and pass it to the same <laughs> man. But um, it over. <laughs> hey, it still ain't going to help you. You're not going to win the game. Um, Addy Five is going to win the game uh, easily. Um, no doubt. <laughs> said transfer some speed from Tyreek Hill over there if that was a possibility. All right, last game on on the schedule is Publisi and those Chargers, and he's got Mo Booker, the OG, and those Kansas City Chiefs, and this is an easy pick for me. I like the Chargers. Chargers go to Kansas City and get an easy win over Mo Booker. Publisi, Manizi, Fashizi. Okay, Publisi. I like that name. Um, Hey, you're going to eat real good right here. <laughs> Mo, Booker, <laughs> Mo Booker just struggles a little bit, but Mo, Mo might surprise you, though, but he's just not going to surprise in this game. I'm picking uh, Flablizi for Sheezy. No doubt. Chargers with the win. All right, guys, that is week two here in the Dynasty. As we get closer and closer to high stakes, HP. And this is where it starts to matter. You got to start molding that team, those final pieces that you got to start adding and building them up as we get ready for high stakes. But the public service announcement for today is, man, y'all guys got to start checking your cap stuff. You cannot afford this late in the cycle to have a mistake and lose two of your top guys or lose a top guy due to a cap penalty or you not being able to sign players because you just out there spending money every chance you get. We've seen it hurt guys in the past. We've seen it hurt guys this year. And it's going to continue to hurt guys if you don't pay attention to your money. Hey, Street, how important is it for guys to have every weapon available as we get to high stakes? Yeah, um, look, part of disconnected franchise is, is is the GM aspect of it. Um, now, you don't have to be perfect, but you gotta know, you gotta know your cap. <laughs> How you don't know your cap is beyond me. You know what I mean? Um, so, one of the things that you in these last final seasons, you gotta, you gotta do a couple things. You gotta, A, you gotta have um, a good draft. And, and we had a good draft this last draft at the Washington Redskins. But you got to be conscious of every move that you make. Every move that you make can determine, can make or break uh, you during high stakes. And so I just hope that uh, you don't make a silly mistake and, and have to give up two good players like um, LP did. Yeah, LP and Taz both losing good guys on the roster. All right, HP, that's week two here in the Dynasty. Hey, man, it's our opinions. Prove us right, prove us wrong. It's your boy, Expert, and we out. Let's go back. <laughs>